What is up guys? Pwn here and today I just had a few announcements. First announcement is kind of how the channel is going to be uh, starting in the fall. My schedule is getting a little busier uh, so while in the past I didn't really have a schedule that I conveyed to anyone out there I was trying to get three videos out per week on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday if I could. Sometimes I didn't make that but um, that was kind of my goal. Uh, moving forward, I'm not going to be able to do three. I'm going to try to do two, uh, so I'll try to release one on either Thursday, Friday, or Friday, Saturday. I'll always have one on Friday for sure. I'm definitely one a week going into the fall. Hopefully, I can also get either a Thursday or a Saturday one released two every week as well. I really had a lot of fun in doing this channel during the summer because I had a lot of extra time. Uh, but now i got to start scaling back a little bit. I definitely don't want it to die. Uh, I've had a really fun time interacting with people, um, and I really enjoy doing this, and so I'm going to definitely try to keep going uh, moving forward, but I'm just going to have to scale it back a little bit. So with that in mind, um, I'm also interested in hearing, I guess, what people are interested in seeing. I have a few segments. If you look through my channel, you can see kind of what I've thought of doing. Uh, if there's anything that I kind of stopped doing or you'd like to see more of, let me know in the comment section. I know a lot of people like the thrifting road trips, so that's kind of why I've, I've definitely put my focus into the thrifting road trips because they're obviously fun to do and people seem to like watching them, so that's kind of where I'm putting my time. But now that my time is kind of um, becoming a little more scarce, I definitely like to know what it is people like seeing. Maybe it's reviews or checking out new items, uh, and if you have something that you don't want to buy, and you'd like to see a review on it first and you don't see reviews out there, definitely let me know because I'm, I'm more than willing to buy stuff for you guys just to test it out. I did have somebody request uh, doing a review on this and opening this up just to check it out, so I will do that um, when I get some time, but just stuff like that. If, if there's something out there that you don't necessarily want to waste your money on because it, it might be bad, I'm more than willing to buy it, check it out, and let you know what I think. So other than that, uh, sort of that's kind of where the channel is heading. I've got a lot of footage still to edit for the thrifting trip number four. Uh, and I've got some other ideas that I kind of want to put into place coming in here in the next few months. But yeah, kind of moving away from the future, let's talk about right now. I made another chart because, I don't know, for no reason. It's just fun for me. Uh, this time a bar graph, which doesn't usually make sense with percentages, but I did it anyway. I didn't think ahead. The books are kind of, there's too much, there's too many books out there to really make a chart that is meaningful at all. So I'm not even going to bother with that. But for fruit, the last entries in order to uh, win something from the thrift trip, I asked for people's favorite fruits. And so I've got that in a bar graph with percentages. Uh, I left out other, other made up about 25% that that was just one of fruits. Uh, though I did learn about a couple fruits that I hadn't even heard of. But as you can see, mango was the favorite fruit, followed by strawberry. Uh, and then some of the more obscure fruits, I think these were all one of's, but somebody uh, said avocado. And I think it's fairly obvious to me now, after thinking of avocado as a fruit, that yeah, it's a fruit. And I looked it up, you know, just to see what the internet had to say about that. And uh, the description, I guess, for a fruit, just a one line for what a fruit is by definition, and it is the mature ovary of a flower. So the next time you're chowing down on some fruit, just just roll that around in your head. Just think of think of biting into a nice mature ovary. Uh, and avocados aren't that crazy, but there were some crazy fruits that people suggested. Durian fruit, one of them. I honestly don't believe that's someone's favorite fruit. Maybe it is, but. From what I've seen on the internet, the durian fruit is kind of disgusting and has a horrible smell. Uh, another weird one, I'll throw it up, the dragon fruit. I have heard of a dragon fruit. I don't think I've eaten one though, but they are very pretty. Yeah, I've definitely seen those in the grocery store a couple of times. And then one person said a lychee or lychee. I'm not sure. I pronounce it lychee. I, I don't know how to pronounce it. It does have a couple different spellings, but here's a lychee. And then one I did have to look up. I had no clue. I'd never heard of this before. It was the chom chom. Uh, and so that's what that looks like. That is a chom chom fruit. So thanks for entering guys. I had to go look up a couple of fruits just to see what they were. Uh, so that made it a little bit interesting for me. And it uh, turns out people that watch my channel really love mangoes. So I hope you're snacking on some frozen mangoes right now. 
great treat if you haven't tried it. I decided to do two winners just in the middle of the trip. I decided to do two. The first winner, Evan Killips. Evan was on the boat with the mangoes, part of that big chunk of people who love mangoes, and he requested a deploy. So I was able to find him a deploy. Now all I need from you, Evan, is... Sweet name, by the way. Uh, a mailing address so that I can get this shipped off to you uh, in a timely manner. So if you want to send that to my email, pontatoes at gmail.com, uh, I will get this shipped off to you. And then the second winner who loves grapes was Double L Vlogs, and he requested a Maverick. And I didn't feel right just sending out a Maverick, because I kind of take Mavericks for granted. Uh, they're everywhere from where I thrift, but maybe they're not everywhere for everyone. And he requested a Maverick, so who am I to say you shouldn't want a Maverick? But I, just, I couldn't send just one, so I was able to find the regular standard yellow Maverick, the sort of off-color Maverick, I'm not sure if this has a special name or not, a clear Maverick, as well as the Avengers special Maverick, which kind of has a different feel. It's definitely a, a different shell than all the other Mavericks. It's not exactly the same. Uh, so yeah, those were all the Mavericks I was able to find of different varieties. If you could also provide me with a lovely mailing address, uh, send it to my email. I will get all four of these Mavericks out to you as soon as possible. Alright guys, that is it for this video. Until next time guys, remember, you can be serious about Nerf, but don't take Nerf too seriously.